you are a growth marketer, uh, Liz, I want to ask you what marketing tips can you give today? Three top three marketing tips. Can, would you, if you can share your secret sauce. <laughs> um, I think the first thing I would say is diversification. Um, that's one of the things we're working on. Um, you know, we're working on strongly at Lunia is making sure that our that revenue channels are are diversified. Um, while you're testing and learning and looking for winners, you can't you know, kind of like bet on one channel delivering everything. I think in the in businesses that are all you know strongly online like our businesses, it's really easy to fall in the trap of just you know only using Facebook advertising or only using Google advertising and trying to build a growth strategy out of that because you have all your eggs in one basket. The same way you wouldn't say, I'm only ever gonna make one product or I'm only ever gonna target one customer. You have to diversify in order to grow. Um, so that would be sort of my, my number one tip, like always be trying always be trying new channels, always be trying new vendors, you know, never have, have your eggs in, in one basket. Um, and then measurement and, and, and data, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely working with the team to build out our um, data capabilities. Um, you know, we're implementing a customer data platform right now, which will give us more, you know, customer segmentation um, visibility to your, to your earlier question about segmentation. Um, because otherwise, it's really easy to kind of uh, fall into a, a belief that something works just because uh, your employees have seen it or it feels good to do. But then when you actually look at the numbers and you track through and you look at the attribution, you figure out, oh, actually, that's just like the noisiest channel. It's actually not my most productive channel. And sometimes the most productive things are things that are like not sexy at all. <laughs> you know, they're just like, you know, bread and butter, good strategies, email segmentation. You know, I have a new um, retention director on my team that's just killing it in terms of like, you know, building out um, some segmentation strategy and email. And she has like dramatically increased, you know, the productivity of that channel for us. And it's not, you know, it's not like sexy big ideas. It's just bread and butter doing the work and like, you know, planning out this, the strategy. And so those, some of those things which are like, you know, not the things that people see from the outside, but they're the things that make, you know, make a business work. Um, and then there's kind of the opposite um, challenge as well. And that is like, don't be boring in marketing. I mean, the customer has so many messages, like coming at them from every single direction, like literally just scan through your Instagram feed. I mean, you know, ad after ad after ad, right? Like you're not going to remember any of them. So, you know, if the you know being a vanilla brand like you could have a great product but if you don't have a you know an interesting brand if you don't have something that resonates that your customer is gonna you know like really attach to that's gonna stand out and find interesting you know they've got a sea of sameness they've been presented with you know 100 different options in your space today what's the like fun awesome thing about you that breaks through and so you know for us I mean, we have, a, we have an edgy tagline. Our tagline is good in bed. We don't shy away from talking about topics that are important. Um, you know, we're running a campaign right now called Vote in Bed because our tagline is good in bed. So we just said, no, good in bed, vote in bed, right? And so, you know, it's like if, if, if you, you know, are willing to go after and kind of like get into the cultural conversation, you develop a lot more resonance with customers. The category. So those are my three things. Diversification, measurement, and breakthrough. <laughs> Super. Fabulous.